Um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, uh, you can uh, listen to the talk today, and you can ignore the monstrosity that the barber left on top of my head. We can get on with our lives. Um, so um, I guess the title of my talk today is is The Realness of Our God. Um, uh, and um, so I guess everyone here, of course, knows that that God is real. Um, in fact, it'll, it'll probably be a little concerning if you were unaware of this information. Um, uh, if you were here in the meeting today, um, but but we know we know God is real, right? We 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 can see that He's real. We we have this this living proof. Um, uh, I, the reason I say that we know that God is real is because, is because we have that proof every day that 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 there's a God who works miracles um in our lives uh, and does actual works um and the proof being the holy spirit of course which his son died for um so <clears throat> so we're just basically focusing today about about sorry but basically just focusing today about um how to how to know that god is real and and what's the difference between our god and you know some other religion right um Again, it's 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 that real God who works miracles and does real works. Um, um, but even though we have this this living proof, we have this this um this Holy Spirit, we know that there's others who don't have this. We we know that there's others that don't have this clear sight of the truth, who who can't come to the conclusion of God's realness in the same way. So um uh yeah so they don't have the holy spirit so they can't um have that same sort of a uh, information um sorry my dog is is whining cuz he's having a bad dream um uh so so with this topic i think that the first thing that comes to my mind in the bible is i'm sure we all know it is the uh is elijah and the prophets of baal and and that that story there and we remember the the comparison between the two and what happened there so we might go and take a look there um we'll get into that in a second but they they had this this back and forth about about whose god was real who who to worship because elijah had been had been instructed to to spread the word about uh, about god he was he was ready to you know um remind them of of what they were they were put there for so elijah was to was to carry that out and it stirred up some stirred up some anger with the people that worshiped this god named baal right um they had this they had this back and forth and of course they they wanted to know which god was real and 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 which one um to worship might not be that that easy but um nowadays uh, I might not be as willing to, to uh, you know, see out the information, but um, we can still get something out of this. Um, so basically, <clears throat> there were two sides. There were two sides. There were two different sides, but they were both worshiping something. And of course, there was a massive difference. One side worshiped the God who who did nothing for them <clears throat> because, of course, he was non-existent versus the other side. Who worshipped a God who did works in their lives, a God who proved His love to His creation and kept them. It sounds uh, sounds pretty familiar to now, doesn't it? About how you know we might go witnessing and they might say that they're a, a different um, religion or they don't they don't believe in the exact things that we say or um, maybe think that it might not have to be that way, um, and they and they they stand loyal to their religion. But they don't see anything coming from it. They don't see real miracles every day. They don't have this relationship with the Lord that we have. Um, and of course, this this represents the the prophets of Baal. It represents the people that worship Baal. They they stay loyal to their to their um, religion, but nothing came out of it. There was no real no real works. Um, uh, but then the other side. Who worshipped a God who did works in their lives, um, uh, 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 which is us, as um, 
uh, we're now blessed enough to to be able to look at ourselves and and our lives now and know that that there's something or someone up there that is that is helping us um as as for elijah too uh, uh god communicating with him and instructing him to do things and and doing real things um unlike unlike ball so we're we're blessed enough to be able to to look at our fellowship and look at look at what we believe and know that it's the truth because we see real proof and real miracles every single day. Um, where am I here? Um, again, yeah. D then you look. Then you look at to the other side of the world, <coughs> and you say you 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 look at them and you see people who say that that they may believe in God or um or go to church or maybe participate in some other religion just anything anything like that those sorts of things and they believe in all those things and they follow this rigorous routine and everything but they're still miserable but they're still miserable because they're not seeing any any benefit for them they're not seeing any real works um they they still may be in in such a terrible situation in their lives and and things might not be going as as well as they they would like but they they remain loyal to their religion they remain loyal to whatever they want to believe because it makes them feel comfortable and and they would rather live miserably hearing what they want to believe than the truth um i guess i guess for everyone for their own reasons but the key word there being want they they listen to what they want to believe but they don't they're not they're not seeing the difference they're not seeing um any real works <clears throat> of course there's several reasons to be involved in those sorts of religions for them of course there's several reasons that they have to to be involved in those things and not us it's just that none of them are right none of them are correct and they all lead to incorrect things and and those in and when they worship those gods and and they stand by them, they still get nothing back because there's nothing there. Um, uh, they don't the, those things that they're doing to worship aren't doing them justice because they see no works. Mm -hmm. Like Baal, luckily we have that we have that here. We have that in in the building that you're in you're in today. Um, a real God who 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 does real things with us. Um, uh, because we are we are doing things the right way, the real God's way. <clears throat> so luckily, a God who performs real works, real miracles, is something that we can say that we have. Um, <clears throat> and we're supposed to do so proudly. We're supposed to speak about that proudly, as Elijah was to do. <clears throat> he was to tell all who were under the wrong impression the truth. Um, and then, as we know, uh, the real proof was was to come from one of the gods. And you can take a guess on which one it was. So um, let's get ready to turn there and and first Kings. Just go over to first Kings and wait there for a minute. We'll go to first Kings chapter 18 and we'll start in verse 19. So so we're just skipping down to, I guess, the, the main part of the story, really. I'm um, going down to First Kings chapter 18. We'll start on verse 19. <clears throat> um. So, so up until this point, the people people worshiping Baal were severely outnumbering the pe people who worshipped God. Um. But if you if you read closely in the same chapter, it turns out that Elijah was not the the only um the only person who remained faithful. It said that there was also a few hundred who who did not bow the knee, but um, who was only saying things like that to um, uh, as like Elijah felt alone alone in the situation, right? Um, you know, going out and and preaching by himself. Um. Anyways, uh, Elijah was was trying to get God's creation back to the way that they were created for, just like we should be doing. You know, going out witnessing. Um, uh, we are all put here for a purpose. But it's time to tell people the plan. Um, and this is what he was doing here. Um, and he was doing so for, for those people that had been so lost. Um, and they ended up giving up on the truth. 
and began doing because it, I guess they were complaining um, and began to do what they wanted to do because they had completely lost sight of what was right. And it was time for God to make a stand. So, okay, we'll finally read something. First Kings 18, verse 19. And it says, Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Car- Carmel, and the prophets of Baal 450, and the prophets of the groves 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. So this is just Elijah gathering a group of, of people to witness what's about to happen here. Um, this 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 proof and all the people that were there <clears throat> most of them a lot of them I think pretty much all believed in this false god and they stood by him which is why they showed up in the first place because they believed that something may happen right even though that was not a pattern um, but Elijah's god did have a pattern our god did have a pattern of of doing real things and Elijah is just there to to save them from this of course, with a God working on his, with our God working on his side. So verse 20. Uh, so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount, Car- Mount Carmel. Verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. See, now it's time for all these people who have lost their sight to to see again. Not literally, but but to, to people who had lost sight of the real truth, it was time for them to see again. It was time to cure the blind. Um, he was he was only really saying uh, my timer turned off on accident. He was only really saying, follow the God who has real truth, who has real signs, something that you can see, and we're about to see it right now. It's that simple, and and they put it to the test. <clears throat> um, we'll skip down to verse 23, because we already talked about verse 22, about the people that were on Elijah's side. Um, verse 23, let, let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock, bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces. And lay it on the wood and put under and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. Verse 24. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, the Lord, not not my God or or the one that I believe in. It's the Lord. He says, And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said it was well spoken. And Elijah says this because He's confident in his God that 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 he will respond with fire. He will do this 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 real work. He will um, carry out this this proof because he he is real, and Elijah knows this. Um, where am I? Uh, yes, well, timer keeps running. Again, this is where the difference come in comes in. Um, the God that that has made up been made has that man has made up because they lost sight of the truth versus the real god who does real things they just don't know that yet um the god who who versus the god who does um who provides for us who works miracles provisions healings everything for us because because we worship him and we can see that and although we might not be able to see him face to face we might not be able to hear him it's a i guess it's a test of faith because if you're if you're not fo- if you're focusing on those, you're not going to see that you can see with your eyes the real things that he does for us, um, the real miracles, um, which is our which is our proof that he is real other than the spirit. <clears throat> uh, the truth is, if you really look you're out there in the world and you're and you're not in our fellowship yet, if you really look, you will find the undeniable truth of the realness of God. You will find that truth. Um, again, like Elijah, we must tell everyone about it so that so that we can help people find that truth, um, and make the realness of God, of our God, that that we know, become aware. I mean, become known, um, because you know He is the one and only, the Creator of the universe. Verse twenty-five. Now, um, and Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal. 
Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first. For ye are many, many people that worship a ball. And call on the name of your gods. And again, put no fire under. Verse 26. And they took the bullock which was given to them, bullock which was given to them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even morning even until noon. So the whole entire morning they were saying, O oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice the whole time. There were not any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. So this is what I mentioned before. Um, the same man who, who swears on their religion or their belief is the same man who, who sees no works or truth or any substance at the end of the day. And they end up being miserable. There was nobody there. There was no one to answer, and they became unhappy because they were beginning to see the real truth, um, which is, of course, what happens today. You you tell someone about what we believe in, and they um, get extremely angry because they're told that they're being wrong. And I don't like to be told that I'm wrong, as mom, my mom knows, but for things like this, it, it, it's got to happen, right, um, to know the real truth. Um, and Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me. And oh, verse 30, I'm sorry. I will skip down there. And Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down um, uh, from, the, from the prophets of Baal. Um, and Elijah took 12 stones, according to the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name, verse 32. And with the stones he built an altar for the name in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench around the altar as great um, as would contain two measures of seed. Um, and he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces, bullock in pieces, and laid him on the wood. And said, "Fill four barrels with water, and pour it um, in on it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood." Um, and the next few verses were about making the altar, so we'll skip down to verse thirty-six. <clears throat> um, it was just, it's just, this is a, a big thing. It's for the Lord, right? Um, it says, "And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said." Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, <clears throat> and that and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things, and preached all these things in thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that went, verse 37, hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and thou, thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Um, uh, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. So again, we see the difference, <clears throat> the realness of God. They could see the clear difference with their own eyes, even though neither of them saw either of their gods. They saw the difference between which God performs miracles, which God does works that you can see and actually exist, versus the God who who did nothing, even though his people were loyal to him, because he doesn't exist. Um he he never he never did anything for them, and no one answered, as we know. There was no substance to him, there was no realness. And of course we know that the only reason that they were worshiping him was because they lost sight of the truth and they they gave up on it um but that's just what we have today it's, that's why we believe in our god it's the exact same because even though we can't directly see him we see the real miracles that happen from him because it doesn't happen just by chance it's too many of them there's something up there and we can actually see with our own eyes clear works that God does in all of our lives. I'm sure there's not very many people here who haven't experienced a miracle since being here. Um, you know, there might be some um, 
coincidences and other little things. Um, but the truth is other other religious people who, who swear by what they believe are not seeing those things besides those coincidences I just said. They're not they're not seeing these same things, but they remain loyal. Um, but if you're out there looking and you don't quite believe in God, you know, there's there's still hope, there's still miracles, and you can come see them today. Um uh sorry, I lost my place. Um <clears throat> Other than that, other than those little coincidences, um, there's there's nothing there to, to for proof, right? Um, and but regardless, they stay that way in that religion most times because they would rather be blind. They would rather ignore the real power and truth just to hear what they want to hear, just to be to be comfortable, and so. They're tricking themselves into being comfortable when their life is miserable. And it was going to be a lot more miserable when when the Lord returns, right? And if you're out there wondering, well, what if that's me? What if I'm the blind one and you're out in the world? How can I fix this? You know, follow the instructions. Acts 2.38, all of, all of Acts 2, really, and <clears throat> many other scriptures that other religions and even other Christians who say they're Christians refuse to talk about or just swerve over because it has real power and real truth and as i said they would re rather remain comfortable um but if if you seek out in the right way that's instructed <clears throat> you will find the realness of god so when you do that be prepared to see god doing real work real blessings that we can see and real miracles and all the people said Amen, I'll leave it there.